Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. And if you find this video helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video. At the beginning of the lecture on L'Hopital's rule, we talked about that there were different indeterminate forms. We know that L'Hopital's rule only applies to indeterminate forms 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. What we're going to talk about next is if we get a different kind of indeterminate form, which is plus or minus infinity times zero or infinity minus infinity, some techniques that we might use to rewrite the expression algebraically in order to get it to be in a form where L'Hopital's rule applies. So if we're asked to evaluate the limit as x approaches infinity of x squared times e to the negative x, then the first thing we would think about is, you know, what's going to happen to each part of this product? Because if they both turned out to be infinity, for example, then infinity times infinity is infinity, we'd be done, right? But in this case, we have the x squared term would go to infinity, but what would happen to e to the negative x? So e to the negative x is the same thing, by the way, as 1 over e to the x, right? So what would be the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 over e to the x? 0, that's right. The denominator is increasing without bound. The numerator is fixed. So that would just be 0. So this is an infinity times 0 situation, an infinity times 0 indeterminate form. And L'Hopital's rule doesn't apply. But using the fact that e to the negative x does equal 1 over e to the x, we can actually rewrite this so that L'Hopital's rule does apply. We say, OK, this is x squared times 1 over e to the x. Multiply those together so we now have the limit as x goes to infinity of x squared over e to the so now we have an infinity over infinity indeterminate form and L'Hopital's rule does apply. Now let's go ahead then and um, this is going to be according to L'Hopital's rule equal to the limit as x approaches infinity of what over what? Good, 2x over e to the x, but that's still going to be infinity over infinity. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule again and what would we get this time? Good, 2 over e to the x. So the numerator there is going to 2, the denominator is going to infinity, so we're going to get 0 overall. When we have an infinity times 0 indeterminate form, we can think of 0 as being 1 over infinity, and so rewrite it as infinity over infinity. And this is a procedure that we're going to do for a lot of different problems. Anytime you have an infinity times zero, you, this is something you can try. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video.